show plant too. Summertime. So, no more ice on the towers. Ain't that a great thing? So, gotta have some kind of aggravation, and that is pollen and bugs. These are some strainers. They go on the bottom of the sumps on the bottom of the towers. And they get plugged up over the weekend. Just every few days, especially when it's uh, really nice like this. We get a little root beer float going. When the chlorine level is up where it should be, uh, we get foam. I have anti-foam to put in that. In the winter time it freezes, but uh, looks kind of silly right now. So let's go inside the tower and I'll show you where these come from. I already took the one out of here. And here's one that we've got shut off. And you can just see the edge of this one here underneath the catwalk. So uh, I'll get uh, that pulled out and I'll show you how we clean them off. Now the first things that your uh, instincts would tell you to do is to pull them out of the cooling tower, throw them on the deck, get the high pressure washer or the garden hose and clean them off. But what that is, is seeds. So what happens, and they have frequently done that, if I'm not here and it needs to be done, it makes a huge mess, splatters everywhere, the seeds go down in the dirt, they start sprouting, and you got cottonwood trees and Lord knows what else trying to, to grow there. So I've tried to be diligent about doing it, keeping it clean, especially uh, for the weekend a lot of time on this now if you there's no strainer in there now so the next line of defense are these Y strainers up here which in reality should be in front of the pump but I won't go into that it is what it is they're up here they are a pain in the neck to uh, pull those strainers out and clean those so I try to keep those towers clean as I can. And here's our little washer set up. Here's our dirty strainers. It comes out without too much drama, but it's amazing how stringy, especially that cottonwood goo is. And we just, uh, spray it into a pile on the concrete here and uh, let it dry a little bit, sweep it up, and close of it in the dumpster. The thing you can do for your home air conditioner is keep that outdoor condenser as clean as you can and the filters clean in your uh, fan coil in the in-house part. So anyhow, no mystery behind all that. I just thought I'd uh, Make something and throw it up because I've been busy with some other things for a while and still fighting this cough. Alrighty, there you have it. About an hour later, that stuff sure gets in there. And we let this dry out a little bit and uh, clean her up. And so far, so good. Uh, try to get her done earlier in the day. We're using less towers. Uh, when we're at full capacity, we'll have a, all three chillers on, all four towers. Fans will be at 100%. And uh, they're just big air cleaners is, is basically what it boils down to. You transfer about uh, anywhere from six to 10 degrees uh, temperature and we'll make up on a very hot day, like a 95 degree day in the when it's been that way for a while, you know, August is usually, but uh, when we get to crack a lacking, these things can evaporate 100,000 gallons in a 24 hour period. 
and the uh, we've got a 80 pounds of city water pressure most of the time and the, a two inch makeup valve makeup line and uh, it'll be at 65 percent open uh, just pouring water into it evaporating it off and uh, it doesn't seem uh, of a, like a very efficient system when you put it in that perspective but to have this much tonnage we've got uh, three machines uh, 1300 tons each when they're maxed out uh, if you had that with a DX uh, system which is direct exchange uh, that's what you usually have similar to what you have at home you just have a refrigerant going through cooling fans and a fan have so much noise, so much surface area, that it cover oh, probably this huge parking lot over here, and then you still have the problem with the pollen plugging that up. All the guys are busting their buns this summer, and every summer, everybody in the HVAC field, that's the big thing, is keeping the pollen and keeping those condensers clean, because uh, whether it's uh, an air exchange, pin fan, 